Hey you and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's an unboxing. This is the only unboxing I'm actually doing from this set. But this one, I actually got it on Thursday when I went to get all the other nine packages from the post office on Saturday. Uh, today is Sunday. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's open it. I already, I already kind of peeked and know what it is. And this is um, something I've been, I don't know, for some reason, been keeping up. I was looking for a good price. Uh, because the first season of this particular television series uh, I actually got for a very awesome price of just £10 with free international shipping I got this one for £14 with free international shipping <laughs> and uh, I'm not even sure where this is from uh, Belgium okay. Belgium? but it is the English version uh, don't see any other oh, yeah the seller is actually based in Belgium uh, and yes I uh, like I mentioned I already took a sneak to check and see what it was I took off the shrink wrapping because it was stored in places and this is the season 2 or the complete season second season of the science fiction and comedy movie uh, sorry science fiction and comedy TV show The Orville which is one of my favorites and um, uh, people may agree, people may disagree, but I consider this to be a Star Trek show because basically it's an homage to TNG, uh, the next generation, which Seth MacFarlane, creator and uh, right, creator, writer and uh, main uh, actor of The Orville is a big fan of. And this is his love story to TNG. And I gotta agree, I mean, even the sets, um, the whole feel of course uh, TNG doesn't have that much comedy uh, but yeah uh, they managed to actually and I think season 2 was pretty awesome uh, season 1 was great uh, I think only the first uh, and second episode I felt like are they doing something good uh, I'm not really sure what's going to happen but by the time the se uh, third episode came in I was blown away so uh, that was an awesome episode from then onwards I think the show has been almost consistently great uh, I love the order uh, and it's actually beating Star Trek uh, Discovery uh, in my book because uh, I mean it doesn't beat any of the other shows for me but <laughs> it definitely does beat Star Trek Discovery uh, and Star Trek Picard um, I'm still in the early stages because I've only completed one season so I think after one more season I can probably make up my mind so far it's the nostalgic uh, feeling of seeing your old heroes uh, and you know all that stuff I know this isn't we're not talking about Star Trek Picard here too much sorry but I just want to say that uh, compared and I am going to compare it with the rest of Star Trek because it is uh, basically Seth, Mark, Seth MacFarlane's Star Trek science fiction adventure with a healthy dash of comedy and emotions as well of course so here's the front here's the back I love that pic. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know uh, if everybody else likes this character as. Um, I think she's good. I uh, just that everybody loves the uh, main, the, the previous actress. I can't remember the names right now. I think her name is Jessica. This one in the back here, her name is Jessica So. Let me like <coughs> have a picture. I love the music as well. I love the uh, uh, well, the Halston Sage is yeah. Is this actually? She's so cute. She's pretty. Uh, so I wish she actually could have remained, but apparently there was a clash with uh, her. Uh, you know, dates with uh, uh, some other. That she had already planned for some other movies or something like that, or some television show, and then they brought in Jessica. Jessica's, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, S-Z-O-H-R, so Zor, sometimes what I'm going She's pretty good, but uh, I would definitely would have preferred to have Alston Sage on. She's really cute. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> as always, when I, whenever I get these kind of uh, sets, it's always slightly damaged. Uh, well, yeah, some of them have been good, good enough, but oops, almost dropped it, and I just did so they come in these tray uh, 
put these tray ca cases for the DVD and that's why one of them, I mean they've already broken a little bit. It is slightly damaged, just not that much. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> this one fell off. So yeah, that's uh, unboxing of the Orville. Like I mentioned, I actually did open it to make sure and um, I didn't actually check inside. I just removed the shrink wrap. Let me see if I can actually try to put, put, put this back together. Yeah. This is this too. So the tray cases, even though I love them, um, because you can actually have, you know, many seasons, uh, many discs inside, uh, especially for television shows, you can actually keep them like this. But No, not much of a problem. I will remember. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Uh, unboxing of the Orville season two, and uh, I'm a little worried about this show because I know season three has been so taken such a long time. They moved on to Hulu, but I'm hoping to watch it, and I will um, definitely. Be, I think uh, it might be too soon for me to actually start watching the show once again, season one and season two. But I think next year uh, I will try and watch it again because I've got so much stuff that I want to rewatch. Um, so little time. <laughs> okay. You know, it would be nice if I had, a, if I won the lottery, so I don't really have to worry about uh, working, don't have to worry about money coming. I just watch all my favorite shows over and over again. I bet you think that too, if you are, whoever you are. All right. Um, so that I, that's it. I guess I've got. That's all the packages. Uh, I just have one more unboxing to do, which is not a DVD set or a DVD movie. It is a Funko Pop. Um, so, catch you on that one.